Hi there. This project shows you how you can get your Azure logging into Splunk. A lot of enterprises use Splunk as their centralized seam and monitoring solution to uh, monitor their IT infrastructure. Their IT infrastructure can be on-prem, but also, for example, uh, it can be hosted with a cloud provider, a cloud provider like Azure. When you're using cloud, you would like to understand what's happening in your cloud environment. So you would like to be aware of all the activities. Your cloud environment can have several resources, IaaS or PaaS resources. IaaS, a VM or a VNet, and PaaS, for example, a Cosmos DB. So for all these resources, you would like to have the diagnostic logs and the metrics logs. For these logging scenarios on Azure, Splunk already created a plugin and a how-to how you can integrate directly from Azure into your Splunk environment. I have put a link up here so you can see on how to do that. This project, however, shows you how you can uh, consume the logging directly from Event Hub uh, on Azure and with an own application uh, manipulate your uh, Splunk logging and uh, persist that using simply Python code into Splunk. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you want to run this on your own subscription, just go to the steps page and follow all the steps uh, that are described here. At the end of the, these steps, you will have an infrastructure which uh, contains an Azure resource group called Events Plug Demo. You will have an e Event Hub Splunk Demo Image resource group which contains an image that contains the Sp uh, Splunk uh, VM. And in the Event Hub Splunk Demo resource group, you will have a key vault that contains all the secrets, uh, an Event Hub namespace and a Splunk machine. So after I have uh, created my infrastructure, you would see that the Terraform has completed and it says it's all okay. And then I'm going to step four. And in step four, you see there is a dialog create secrets. And here you see that it's asking for a uh, Splunk event collector token. So this means I need to configure my Splunk machine first. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to open a new terminal and I want to see what my public IP address is for my VM. Public IP uh, list minus O table and I want it only to see for the event hub Splunk demo. So here you see I have a one public IP for my VM. Uh, I created it with the Vagrant user, so I can just do this. Then I'm logged in to the Splunk machine which we just brought up. So here I can go to the opt folder and here you see that I have a Splunk binary. So what I can do is now just sudo dpkg minus i. So this will install my Splunk stuff. After that is done, I am going to install a Splunk and start it by doing sudo minus u Splunk. Here I need to configure a username, so I do Chris and I just give it a password, which I'm not going to tell you. So, and now it is configured and ready to use. So it started on port 8000. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit the session and I'm going to port forward it. So I do SSL, SSH minus L for using Fragrant. And I'm going to port forward port 8000 on localhost 8000. And the host is this 20 address. This is the public IP address. So I'm logged in now. So if correct, I should be able to go to localhost port 8000 thousand and I should be able to log in with my username and the password I just configured. Got it. This is all great. Remind me in two weeks. So now we are going to configure Splunk. 
So the first thing what we do is uh, we're going to settings, we're going to data inputs, and with the data inputs we're going to say configure the HTTP event collector. In the global settings we're going to put it on enabled. We leave the port 8088, say save, and now we are going to create a new token. So I just give it a name, AHEH event or Splunk um, demo, and for the rest I just leave it all here, all by default, and I'm going to copy the token value. So I have this token, I'm going to copy this token and put it here. So now I want to add this in my key vault and I created a simple script but the first thing what I need to do is make sure that my key vault accepts my user in its access policy because currently only the EH Splunk demo application can access keys in this key vault so my oh my account is show so this is my uh, account and I should be able to put keys in there as well so what I'm going to do is here I add an access policy I say I just want to have the regular stuff I will say say my ID so it finds it I'm going to select it add it and then I'm going to save it because I'm now added, I can now have a peek into the secrets and I see there are no secrets configured yet. This is something I'm going to do in this folder. I don't to do the create secrets. This is the token that has been created by Splunk. I'm going to paste it here. Then it will create everything that is required for my application to run. So you got all stuff here, pop, 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 pop. and when I refresh the screen, I see I have everything I need. For example, the Splunk token I just configured. Here you see the value. So that's now all good. So let's go to the application. So if you just follow the steps, you would have created a virtual environment, which is just to make sure that you don't interfere with your existing environments. So let's have a quick look in the code you see here that I'm only accessing stuff from my key vault in the initialization phase uh, I'm getting the token and the connection string everything which is secret is just in the key vault but you also see that next to my service principal credentials as an environment variable which we already used for the terraform I also need another environment variable called vault URL so you can find the vault URL by typing, let's see, I put it here somewhere, uh, AZ key vault list and then the group and then you just want the vault URI. Part of an array and properties and so here you got this thing. So what you need to do is actually just say export vault URL is not this thing of course but this thing and then you're done. So what I'm going to do now is start a listener but I'm also opening a new terminal. Before I do that I would like to see what my current Terraform variables are and I'm going to take these things yes and now I can remove the SSH stuff so the rest is all interesting so I will say export Copy this, copy this, copy this, copy this. Okay, this is all good. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to open a new terminal. I'm pasting it here. So first of all, I'm going to start my listener here by just typing Python process event hub logging. So let's see if we see messages appearing in Splunk. I'm only interested in stuff from the last uh, five minutes because that is how big my attention span is usually. 
so we see nothing coming in yet and then i'm going to my other terminal and i'm just saying python send the pi so it should be sending messages these messages should be picked up by this listener so let's do that again Send. I'm sending the messages and making a connection yes let's see here my listener see that it's a non JSON have a look in the code but uh, I'm not using Splunk now uh, but so I'm parsing adjacent messages and this is a non JSON but I'm still sending it to Splunk so I'm having a look in Splunk now and here you see my messages appearing so what I want to achieve now is that I'm getting my Azure activity logs into my Splunk as well. So I'm going to monitor. And within the monitor, I'm going to activity logs. And here I say export to event hub. Then I'm going to add some settings. So EH Splunk uh, demo stream to an event hub. And the event hub is, of course, the event hub we used and created here we will say this event hub and we will just use the root and you know what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, send all the logging service health recommendation policies out of scale everything is interesting to me i'm saying save so that should be saved now and it should be active within a couple of seconds so i'm going to my visual studio code now i got a real cool plugin which says okay i can access my machines i have currently a windows box running but what i want to see is when i stop it so i do power off i want to see this uh, action being logged in my event hub so it's now stopping so you see this action coming in now you see that I have oh, this is a different action so let's see action failure so these are all uh, Azure events that that are happening and are being logged now and also the event of me stopping this machine should appear in my event hub log so uh, at the end uh, I'm picking this up and I'm persisting it in Splunk so let's have a look in Splunk and here you see my messages appearing so of course you can make a nice dashboard out of it and have some uh, alerts and that's something that uh, is Splunk is very good at so that's out of the scope of this demo Hope you guys liked it. Um, this is the end of my demo. I wish you all a very blessed day.